on the Earth, we're protected by the Earth's magnetic field and the atmosphere of the Earth. But once you're out in space, away from the Earth's magnetic field, those can be a danger to not only astronauts, but also spacecraft. Parker Solar Probe is trying to get the basic science that will allow us in the future to be able to predict those solar storms, the way the meteorologist predicts weather here on Earth. These particles of dust, they actually spiral in towards the sun and they collide with each other and um, break out into smaller and smaller pieces. And as these small pieces get really close to the sun, they can either be completely vaporized or the light, the pressure from the light of the sun itself is actually enough to blow them away from the sun. And so Parker Solar Probe um, has started to see hints that there might actually be this predicted dust-free zone around the sun. Where that transition happens is very important for understanding because that spinning of the corona actually helps slow down the sun. All stars get slower in their spinning as they get older. Parker Solar Probe sees that, the ten, that transition from spinning to straight happens further from the sun than we thought. And that actually has implications for every star in the universe and how they slow down. And that's important, actually, for the habitability of solar systems around distant stars. but I'm certainly greatly honored to be associated with such a heroic scientific space mission. By heroic, of course, I'm referring to the temperature, the thermal radiation from the sun, and the extreme measures developed to survive that radiation and collect scientific data should be fully appreciated. <laughs> 